insert on Nick. Jeff, and congratulations to the four of you brainiacs for making it to level two. If you guys don't mind, I'd like to get a little personal. DJ, what do you have to do to become an Eagle Scout? I just need a couple more public service hours and to complete a small project. And how small is this small project? This big, this big? Huge. Huge. So it's a small, huge project. Pretty much. Good luck, my friend. Thank Good you. Good luck. <laughs> Megan. Tell us about your jungle gym horror story. Um, I was just hanging around on the jungle gym at school, wearing my favorite leather pants. Of course. At the end of school, somebody said that my pants were ripped, and they were ripped all day. Oh! Lesson learned, leather and jungle gyms do not mix. No, they don't. No, they don't. All right. Charlie, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, uh, I understand you once asked the teacher a rather personal question. I was so excited, it was my very first day of preschool. I walk up to my teacher, and then I say, oh, are you having a baby? And she's like, no, I'm not. And then I said, but you're so squishy. <laughs> and then it was very long silence, and she didn't really like me the rest of the year. Right, yeah, it's generally not a good way to start off. But you know what? Yeah. You're doing all right now, you're hanging out here. Yep. <laughs> and no, I'm not pregnant. Crystal! Tell me about the neighborhood association you started. Well, it's called Club Lightning, and I started it with the kids in my complex, and it helps them expand their creativity and imagination. Very cool. How many members are in the club? Like six. Six? Wow, <laughs> very nice. Enough chit-chat. Let's get to the gameplay. Level two. All right, guys, on this level, I'm going to tell you a story from my big book of truth. You know it, you love it. Stand up, it's story time. All right, let me just randomly open a page. Oh, this one will do just fine. Listen and pay close attention to the story I'm about to tell you, all right? Because afterwards, I'm going to ask you guys some questions. Remember, everything I'm about to tell you is absolutely 100% true. I'll never forget my stay at Myth Mountain Summer Camp. My camp counselor, Hercules, challenged us kids to arm wrestling. He always won. He had a pet dog, Ruffy, who could eat, bark, and lick you all at the same time. There was always tons to do at camp. We played hide-and-seek with Cyclops, who always peeked with that one eye. It was a lot easier when he hid. One time, our cabin one captured the flag by sneaking behind enemy lines in a Trojan horse. It was cool. If you didn't follow the pool rules, the lifeguard, King Neptune, would haul you out with that pitchfork thingy he's got. <laughs> the archery teacher, Cupid, made us aim at that big old heart. Oh, brother. But we had a blast riding Pegasus and dropping little surprises on the rival camp's lawn. Mr. Centaur taught arts and crafts with his half-brother, Ed. We whittled clubs and practiced swinging them in the camp clubhouse. One morning, a four-headed serpent crawled out of the nearby swamp, but we tamed him pretty quickly with our clubs. We made him the goalie of our soccer team, and we won the camp trophy. That's my story, guys, and it's all true. You're gonna lock in your answers by having a seat. If you hear this, that means you're right. If you hear this, Charlie, could you please demonstrate by having a seat? Oh, no. Hang on for the ride. Back on your feet, Charlie. DJ, we're going to start with you. What position did the serpent play on our soccer team? Goalie. Goalie, have a seat. Let's find out. You got it. <laughs> All right, Megan. Yeah? What game did we play with Cyclops? Um, I know this one. I hope you do. I hope I do. That's why I asked you. Um... Time's running out. I'm going to need an answer. Baseball. Baseball. Have a seat. Hold on. Oh, no! Megan, hang on! <laughs> Did you see her ponytails? Woo! Charlie, I'm going to ask you the same question, all right? What game did we play with Cyclops? Hide and go seek. Hide and go seek. S sit and hold. You got it. Yeah, Charlie. Crystal. How many heads did my camp counselor's dog have? Three. Three? 
deal with it. Sit and hold. You got it. DJ, what was Hercules' dog's name? Ruffy. Ruffy. You got it. Charlie, what game did we win by sneaking behind enemy lines in a Trojan horse? Capture the flag. Capture the flag. You got it. Crystal, the arts and crafts counselor with the head of a man and the body of a horse was named Mr. What? I need an answer. Time's running out. Crescesis? Crescesis. Let's find out. Oh, I'm sorry, Crystal. It is not Mr. Crescesis. However, I do have a cat named Mr. Crescesis, so his <laughs> centaur was the answer I was looking for. DJ Charlie, congratulations. You're moving on. It's time for a knockout round. Knockout round. All right, I'm going to turn the burners up a notch right here. Behind those numbers are pairs of images from the story you just heard. Match a pair correctly, you stay in the game. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to memorize this board. You guys ready? Yep. Your 10 seconds starts now. Time's up. Good looks. Did you guys get a good look? Yeah. Eh, Charlie's got one of these. Okay, DJ, your first number. Six and three. Six is your first number. And? Three. Three. You got it. All right, Charlie, your first number. Nine. Nine. And? Fifteen. Fifteen. You got yourself a match. DJ, pressure's back to you. What's your first number? Ten. Ten. And? Eight. Eight. You got a match. Charlie, back to you. Five. And? Four. Four? Oh, okay, not a match. Here's what's happening now. We have just entered sudden death territory, which more or less just means that the next correct match is moving on as a brain surge champion. DJ, pick 14. wisely. Your first number is 14. 14. Five. For the win. You know it has to happen now. Have a seat and hang on. Oh, there it goes. DJ, you are moving on to the next level. You're going to play for thousands of dollars in prizes, plus a chance to get slime from head to toe. Let's see what Megan, Crystal, and Charlie won for making it this far. Congratulations! You won a Southern California City Pass. Southern California City Pass is a discount booklet of admissions to Disneyland, Universal Studios Hollywood, SeaWorld, and San Diego Zoo. City Pass saves. There's only one way out of here, and it is now on the brain drain. Megan, Crystal, Charlie, you guys ready? Yeah. Megan, come on down! Here she comes! Search. Let's go! 